This house believes that there should be no justification on the war on terror. Terrorism is a global problem that has haunted nations for ages. Does the war on terror need a justification even after the 9-11 bombings? Listen in. House rules. Each speaker has five minutes. The first and last minutes are protected. The judge will ring a bell to signal the protected time. The bell will ring continuously after five minutes. Resolved. This house believes that there should be no justification on war on terror. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mogambe Rania, first speaker farmers from Chiwili Secondary School. This debate is based on war on terror. Ladies and gentlemen, the key terms of today's debate are justification, according to 9th edition Oxford, which means to allow something, war on terror, which was a military campaign launched by former USA President George Bush following the September 11, 2001 attack, according to Britannica, to end terrorism. It was launched on Afghanistan, Iraq, and its main objective was to stop the terrorist group of Al-Qaeda. So ladies and gentlemen, there are other components that might affiliate themselves with war on terror, such as acts on terrorism. These are acts that are carried out by terrorists, such as bombing of places, like the one that happened at Chad on the rugby in 2010. Then there are armed conflicts. These are conflicts where both parties are armed. So ladies and gentlemen, before I go any further, let us not confuse those components with war on terror. Our house is the United Nations Human Rights Commission. Currently, we do not have any war on terror existing, so we are going to base our debate on past events that the war on terror should not be justified. Justifying war on terror is something that goes against the fundamental human rights. I mean, there, are, there is a set of laws that, that advocate the human rights of people, and the war on terror went, uh, went ahead and breached these principles. For example, the war on terror went ahead and cost 30,000 innocent lives of Afghanistans. People, when you come up here and say you're going to justify war on terror, are you thinking of the 30,000 innocent lives of the Afghanistans, the innocent women, the children, the people that are on hospital beds dying? Or you're going to come up here and just say because it's a war on terrorism, you're justifying it? Then the war on terror went against the seven principles of the IHL that include proportionality. For example, according to World, World Peace Program, the, the bombing that happened in two, September 2001 was carried out by two terrorists. But proportionally, USA did not use proportionality. USA went, again, went and formed a coalition of 192 countries that went and formed a war on terrorism, but they went in specific countries like Af Afghanistan. So this is where I'm talking. They did not use proportionality at all. They went with more fire in Afghanistan. This cost 30,000 million lives. It led to 11 million refugees around the, country, around the world, according to World Peace Forum. Ladies and gentlemen, the main issue of the war of terror was to fight the terrorists of the 9-11 attack. But after the death of Osama bin Laden, after their main objective was done, they stayed in these countries because they had ulterior motives. So this alone shows that when they stayed for nine more years in these countries, their economy is crippled. Afghanistan's economy right now, they are having millions and millions of children who are malnourished. How can you come up and justify war on terror? This is according to Britannica. These countries breached the, the human fundamental rights of these people. How can you deny someone the right to their privacy? They went and evaded Afghanistan, saying that they are creating war on terrorism. Why didn't they look for these terrorists from some other areas? They went in a country, denied them their political rights. And ladies and gentlemen, since we are not justifying the war on terror, we are going to strengthen the legal framework for international cooperation and common approaches to the threat of terrorism. Instead of us coming up here and declaring war on terrorism, we can use the United Nations. We have a United Nations counterterrorism strategy. Why would a Senate, why would a House, a, a, a Parliament come up and here and decide for a whole country, a whole world? 
They are breaching the fundamental human rights of these people. They are breaching the fundamental human rights of Afghanistan, Iraq, Pakistan, under the influence that they are fighting the war on terrorism. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to address the issue of inclusion of human rights law when dealing with terrorism through the United Nations Global Counterterrorism Strategy. So instead of us using the same strategy USA used, actually declaring war on terrorism that led to crippling of other economies, we are going to use measures that are going to be in line with human rights, such as allowing these people the right to economic growth. I mean, Afghanistan economy crippled. Ladies and gentlemen, they have children and mothers. The economy crippled. What do you think these people are feeding on? I rest my case. I'm Mukisa Thorat from Mackay Memorial College, Natete, Resolved. We are here from the U.S. Senate representing the U.S. President, His Excellency Joe Biden. Let me take the honor to explain the keywords of our resolution, which says, This House believes that there is no justification on war and terror. By this House, we mean the U.N. Secretariat. Justification means a convincing reason for a particular behavior. Terror means intense fear or fright. It can also mean someone who causes fear or fright. War on terror is a term that refers to an ongoing international military campaign, which was launched by the U.S. government following the September 11th 2001 attack on the U.S. After the September 11th attack, President George W. Bush vowed to fight against the terrorists that he considered a threat not only to the Americans but also to the world in general. We the negators strongly believe that punishing a wrongdoer is the best way of is the best way not granted. Not granted. Our perimeters on this resolution is the entire world because war on terror is a global issue. It cuts across the world. We are pro to the idea that whoever inflicts pain on others shall equally feel that pain so that they know how it hurts. In Matthew 26, verse 54, POI. not granted. In Matthew 26, 54, the Bible says, we live by sword, die by sword. As members of the U.S. Senate, we invite every lover of justice to join hands with us to fight against the actions of the terrorists. We lost lives of 2,750 people when the Pentagon was bombed. This called for our expeditious actions. Step by step, we shall eliminate the action of the terrorists. I quote the words of our former president, George W. Bush. He said, POI, not granted. On our, he said, on our war on terror, this war begins with the Al Qaeda, but it does not end there. It will not end until all the terrorist group of the global reach out are found, stopped, and defeated. Join hands with us, and we shall stop the terrorists. We shall bring justification on war on terror. We shall bring justice. Together, yes, we can. Thank you. This is the High School Crossfire. We'll be back in a minute.